Hey Leo, welcome, welcome. Uh, Maya here. I am um, welcoming you to my channel and uh, this uh, love reading for April 2021. I'm going to start by doing a quick past spread, then I'll do a spread for you and one for your person. So let's start. Spring is in full bloom here in Cairo <laughs> and it's quite hot already. Okay, let's start. You have uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like, Leo, in the past, um, <clears throat> there's been uh, some words said in this connection, a deep connection, um, an honest love, uh, two people who have given, uh, offered each other their cup of love here, divine masculine, divine feminine, and a relationship that is uh, in the midst of healing as well, uh, from what I can see. Because you have um, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So the Queen of Swords at Pride is uh, somebody who's honest. Uh, she doesn't mince her words. Uh, she's intellectually brilliant. Um, she doesn't like gray areas. Uh, she's full of integrity, right? But in reverse, <clears throat> she can be a little bit controlling. Uh, she can be harsh. Uh, she can um, be verbally abusive in a sense. Uh, uh, it can it can be just being overcritical to really being uh, uh, you know um, violent with her words. Uh, in reverse, it's um, it indicates communication that has that uh, wasn't uh, you know uh, said in the in in the best way. You know, um, maybe um, arguments, uh, fighting, uh, or um, you know uh, criticism that is not said <clears throat> with compassion or love. It looks like, uh, uh, although this is happening, you know, in the past, in this uh, committed relationship, uh, you guys are working on it, okay? You're working on whatever happened here. Um, there is a start of communication maybe after this uh, uh, this fight or this, um, uh, you know, this uh, verbal exchange that was, uh, that was uh, you know, um, that was... Uh, uh, I don't know, harsh, hard, tough, um, you are working on it, uh, you guys are starting a communication again, a very, uh, that's the very start of communication with the Page of Swords, uh, it could be that you are uh, keeping an eye on each other, uh, if there's separation or emotional distance here, uh, but it looks like uh, there's a beginning of nurturing as well with the Queen of Pentacles. She's uh, very different from the Queen of Swords in reverse, of course. She's all about care, about love, about compassion. Uh, she nurtures uh, uh, things that she cares about. Uh, she's solid, grounded, earth energy. And you have the Ace of Swords as well uh, underneath. So this breakthrough in communication as well. Uh, that we see starting here with the Page of Swords and also the Queen of Cups. Uh, so this um, this loving presence, this loving attention that you're giving uh, to this uh, relationship that really was lacking maybe in the past with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And you also have Strength. So this is your card, Leo, Major Arcana. So it's like you're taming this beast, uh, this verbal... Um, these verbal exchanges or these arguments that you guys had, uh, you know, repeatedly and uh, that really harmed um, this relationship from what I can see. So that's in the past. Let's see um, what is going on uh, in April. So I'm going to do your spread, uh, Leo, on the uh, right hand side and your person on the left. Feel free to switch sides. Um, if one of them speaks to you more than the other. Uh, also, um, be aware that <clears throat> this is not going to um, resonate with everyone because it's general reading. Okay, 
So you are uh, showing up in April, uh, Leo, as uh, the hindman, major arcana, Pisces, prob uh, mo mo most probably, or uh, most probably. <laughs> Um, the way you feel about your person is the Nine of Swords. The way you think of them is the Two of Wands. And the way you feel about the whole situation is the King of Swords. And uh, bottom of the deck you have the Four of Swords. Now I'm going to do your person with a different deck so that we can see um, mirroring energies if there are any. So your person is showing up as the king of pentacles. The way they feel about you is the chariot. The way they think of you is the three of pentacles. And the way they feel about the whole situation is uh, judgment, new beginnings in this deck. And uh, bottom of the deck you have Leap of Faith, while wow, the Fool is the Zero card. Right, so yeah, it, uh, I think in the recent past, from what I was able to see, uh, there were some really heavy exchanges, at least verbally, between you guys, uh, that um, uh, really uh, created sort of a rift or a distance, whether emotionally or physically, in this uh, connection. And you are showing up, uh, Leo, in April as the hind man. So, um, as I said, major arcana, so major influence. Uh, it's like you're unable to move in this situation. Some things were said uh, in this relationship, in this connection, uh, that made you feel like <clears throat> uh, you uh, couldn't move, right? You're stuck. Uh, the hangman is an un, in an uncomfortable position, hanging from uh, his legs from this tree. It's always to get illum illumination. I mean, the hangman is like um, we're forced in a way by the universe. And of course, we're never really forced by universe. It's, it's more like, um, you know, our, our higher self, uh, you know, in co-creation with the universe uh, presents us with, uh, you know, um, events or situations in life uh, that, uh, uh, you know, create the perfect situation for us to stand still, remain still, uh, to get a different perspective on things, right? And that's, I think, what's been happening here. Something had to change in this relationship because uh, there was um, an imbalance uh in uh, the way you communicate with each other or a lack of communication maybe and when there was communication it wasn't the best uh, it was uh, you know said in anger or uh, you know uh, you were triggering each other too much and so uh, that we saw that in the past right so in April you are not moving you are in, in this forced, forced uh, stillness this uncomfortable position, but it, it, it is taking you out of your comfort zone to see, to see things from a different perspective, Leo. Um, the way you feel about your person is the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, uh, worry, anxiety, fears, um, depression, sleepless nights, uh, not knowing what to do, not being able to take a decision. It's uh, the card right before the Ten of Swords, so there's a lot of hurt. Uh, maybe due to uh, the, the the kind of communication you guys had together, uh, maybe due to uh, the fact that you weren't seeing eye to eye, and just uh, not knowing if this <clears throat> uh, relationship uh, could move forward uh, with the kind of communication you guys had. Uh, and so uh, it leaves you sleepless, it leaves you worried uh, here in um, in April, Leo. The way you think of your person is the two of, uh, of one. So there is passion. You absolutely feel passion for this person. And we saw that there was love uh, absolutely with the two of cups. And also this desire to nurture this, uh, this relationship with the uh, queen of pentacles. Um, but, you know, uh, I can see that there is absolutely an emotional distance. Because in the two of ones... Uh, you know, he has this the world in his hands. He knows that this is a beautiful relationship at the core. 
he knows, you know that, Leo, you know that, uh, you know, it's a two of cups relationship, it's a soulmate, twin flame, or a very committed relationship. It is not a relationship that you want to move away from uh, by any means, but you cannot, uh, you can't... Um, uh, you can't go on the way uh, the way it was happening. Basically, you you you've had enough. You know, you you need to wipe this cl the slate clean on whatever uh, you know arguments, fighting, power struggles have happened between you guys uh, that caused a very uh, big rift between uh, the two of you. Uh, so, uh, as I said, this is not for everyone, and feel free to switch sides. Um, but the two of wands, uh, you know, he's uh, he's contemplating what to do next, you know. It's really the same, um, a little bit of the same feeling that I get uh, from the hangman. You're not go going anywhere, Leo. You're not leaving this behind. Uh, but you are really taking your time now uh, to see uh, where to go next, right? Uh, the two of wands, he, 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 he's contemplating his future. Yes, he has uh, this passion for uh, uh you know this this relationship you have that but you um you are you are planning you are contemplating you know uh what to do next and not really wanting to um uh, act uh at this point i can see that with the two of swords as well that you have you know this time of recovery this time of medita meditation it comes after the three of swords uh you know where uh, there is uh, intense heartbreak or intense pain in the heart chakra. And so the, uh, the intense pain is behind you, but you are in need for recovery and to uh, really uh, contemplate, reflect, uh, uh, you know, uh, on what to do next, right? Or where to go next with this uh, relationship or this connection. Um the way you feel about the whole situation is the King of Swords. So you are very firm here, um, uh, Leo, in April. Uh, you know, the, the King of Swords, he's firm, he wants truth, he's very honest, um, he's a very accomplished master in communication. Uh, he communicates things very clearly. Uh, you know exactly uh, what he thinks, how, how he feels about uh, a situation. So you know... Um, Although you have this um, this worry around this, uh, these anxieties and fears around this connection, you uh, just uh, you want uh, some time to uh, recover from whatever happened, and you also want truth, right? You want things to be clear. You want integrity in this, and you want clear communication. Uh, so let's get to your person. Let me just, before getting to your person, I want to see what this hangman is about and what this Nine of Swords is about here for you, Leo, in April. Alright, so at the hangman is the Eight of Cups, uh, is clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands, yes. And the Nine of Swords, clarified by the King of Pentacles, wow, here's a uh, the King of Pentacles again, and the Queen of Wands. Yep. So, um, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So again, um, this uh, maybe somebody has had a very sneaky behavior, uh, lying, deceiving, um, wanting mind games, uh, wanting uh, to control things like we we saw with the uh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, over critical so this yeah the sneaky attitude uh, that let you to um, you know with the hangman you have the eight of cups so you are leaving all this emotional baggage bag at least you are ready to do that in april or oh, you were actually ready to leave uh, this relationship if uh, it would um, if it was going to uh, uh, go on with the same kind of communication or fighting or, you know, attitude, I think, from your person here. With the Ten of Wands, yeah, done. <laughs> Burnout, uh, can't take it anymore, done, over, I'm out. <laughs> uh, you were really, really uh, about to uh, leave this uh, connection behind here, um, Leo, because you couldn't take it anymore. 
you didn't want this uh you, you didn't want the sort of uh interactions that you guys guys had it wasn't fulfilling you emotionally at all and you were just about to uh, leave uh this connection if you haven't left it already right and uh, clarifying the nine of swords we have the king of pentacles and the queen of wands so it's like you know uh that this connection can be extremely uh, uh, abundant, it can be full of passion, it can be, um, it has the potential to be a beautiful connection with uh, the Queen of Wands here, uh, fire element, your element Leo, uh, so you could be dealing uh, with a Leo as well, or a Sag or an Aries, um, or an, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn. Uh, however, you, you know that, uh, whatever the case, I mean, um, you know that this could be a beautiful connection. There's everything in it. Uh, there's the love, there's the care, uh, there's a solid foundation. However, uh, you know, the way things are going, the way you guys are communicating or treating each other or mistreating each other, um, it, you, you, you won't take it anymore, you don't want it anymore because it leaves you feeling like that, it leaves you filled with anxiety, fears and, you know, uh, worry, sleepless nights, right? So you, whatever happened between you guys, it could have been about uh, money or, you know, uh, shared resources or it could have been about creativity and, you know, uh, not seeing eye to eye uh, um, in how you want uh, your life to... Uh, to look with each other, right? Um, <clears throat> but I, you know, what I'm feeling is that, you know, what, as I said, it's going through some kind of healing crisis. Uh, so it's going to get, it, it got worse before it gets better, basically. So let's see uh, your person. Your person is uh, showing up in uh, April as the king of pentacles. So re reliable, solid, um, um, you know, a loyal, uh, a very trustworthy person, a very abundant person, could be absolutely a business, uh, a very, um, you know, successful business person, uh, somebody who um, really um, is very accomplished in their own material life, and somebody you can rely on, so completely different from uh, the, the, seven of sword, the, the Seven of Swords or the Queen of Swords in reverse. And... Uh, we have it twice here. Here's the smearing energy I was talking about. So twice uh, the king of pentacles. So it, it looks like your person um, is changing if it was them doing uh, the shady behavior. And it looks like it was them because you were re absolutely ready to leave here, uh, Leo. Again, feel free to switch. It looks like your person is really changing uh, their ways here or realizing uh, that it you know, you are about to leave and um, starting to become reliable again, okay? This card says, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Yes, so maybe uh, in the past, they weren't as successful as they are now. And, and that's what made them uh, behave in a shady way. Uh, or they realized that, you know, you were just going to leave and uh, they were seeing you absolutely leaving this and now they're starting to become a little more reliable and solid in their ways. The way they feel about you is the chariot, major arcana, card of cancer. Uh, so you could be dealing with a cancer as well. Um, but again, this uh, feeling of healing, you know, this uh, the cancer is the integration of... Uh, uh, light and dark, divine masculine, divine feminine, yin and yang, in a very beautiful way. It's a healing card. It's also a successful card. So it's like uh, your person is taking um, the reins of this relationship in their hands. It was just going to, you know, to pieces, going to shit, basically, really. Uh, you know, you were, you guys were just about to really, uh, it was about to explode, or it did explode, um, but you still uh, cared about each other, right? But your person here, it looks in April, is really taking the reins of this whole situation in their hand and really wanting to show you that now uh, you can trust them, that they've become reliable, that they understood uh, the error of their ways, if it was them, you know, having the, um, the sneaky uh, behavior. 
and really wanting to collaborate now on this with you. Uh, you have here the Three of uh, Pentacles, so it's all about colla collaboration, all about this couple wanting to, um, you know, create a sacred space for their for their relationship, and it's like they really want to uh, create a new environment for the, your relationship that is solid, right? Really solid, really grounded, with uh, two, um, you know, Pentacle cards here. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles, which is showing twice, as we said, and the Three of Pentacles, which, which is all about teamwork and collaboration. And that's exactly how they think of this. They really want this new collaboration on a, a new um, basis, right? On a new, um, a completely new, um, uh, you know, the, the, this, the, this new slate, this clean slate between you guys. The Chariot says... Uh, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. They absolutely are determined to um, first, you know, get self-control in this, uh, not controlling you, but co having self-control over maybe uh, the way they were communicating in the past or behaving in the past and uh, really wanting this success with you here with the chariot and this positive movement forward with you as well as, you know, this collaboration. Uh, do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Yes, really want this cooperation uh, with you uh, after this uh, this like me, me, me attitude that somebody uh, looks like your person had in the past, Leo. And the way they feel about the whole situation is uh, judgment. So uh, new beginnings, they absolutely want new beginnings. I mean, they have... The full, the, the card of a new journey, you know, the zero card in the whole deck. So this leap of faith and new beginning. So absolutely wanting uh, two major arcana. Um, really um, uh, this feeling of I'm, I'm taking control now. Uh, you know, I'm sorry about what happened in the past. They are sorry because to feel like that, they must be really... Uh, realizing that you know you were about to leave or you had left Leo and uh, and so they absolutely want these new beginnings with you resurrecting uh, this um, uh, you know uh, judgment is about judgment day you know uh, a new incarnation a new day phoenix rising up from the ashes uh, literally uh, people resurrecting from their uh, graves uh, into a new incarnation so they absolutely want this new beginning here starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past absolutely i think they're going to be looking for your forgiveness maybe uh, you, you maybe um you guys um uh you know uh, I mean, it takes two to, to tango. Nobody, nobody's completely black and the other completely white, right? But it looks like they had uh, more uh, of, uh, you know, they were more to blame basically uh, uh, concerning the the lack of communication or the violent communication between you guys. And now they are absolutely wanting this new beginning with you and to uh, take the leap of faith, right, into the future together. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. Yes, absolutely. And I think you're going to get this clarity and this honest communication that you uh, wanted. Uh, uh, Leo, absolutely, you're going to get that. I think at least uh, the premises of it in April. So let's um, get you guys... Um, a potential outcome for April here dear universe dear spirit potential outcome for my beautiful Leo's in April oh yes <laughs> So yeah, uh, there was absolutely, you know, <laughs> a lot of power struggle, um, you know, petty squabbling, um, 
power tripping, uh, competition, uh, ego-based energy basically around uh, this uh, this connection, you know, uh, looks like it was your person doing that, but feel free to switch sides, as I said, uh, but that was absolutely present in the past, uh, leaving you uh, feeling uh, left out in the cold, nobody has your back, uh, on the outskirts looking in. Um, but the chariot again, success, <laughs> victory, this healing of the yin and yang of the divine masculine and divine feminine, of divine counterparts, you know. Uh, so absolutely this healing, um, taking the reins back in this, uh, in this uh, connection that was really uh, just all over the place and chaotic. It's coming back to, uh, to a place of healing and a place of be being able to move for forward. Uh, when you weren't able to do that before with the hangman, as we saw the Leo. Um, again, the three of, of pentacles, so absolutely this collaboration, uh, this cooperation, this wanting to uh, build together as uh, this couple, couple, he, couple here who comes to um, this uh, architect wanting to create a sacred space, uh, this clean slate that I was talking about, and the ten of pentacles. You know, this is for the long term. This is for the long haul, uh, you guys see, uh, uh, you know, your future together, having everything, the whole nine, nine yards, the the house, the pet, <laughs> the children, the grandparents, ten of pentacles, card of absolute abundance and beautiful home life. So I think absolutely this um, relationship is coming back, uh, wiping the slate clean for a new beginning uh, together uh, after... Uh, you clear out uh, communication between you guys. So thanks, Leo, for passing by, and I'll see you soon.